There are loads of prizes after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is our near the last ascent, last steep ascent, and then it's not that steep. So gorgeous day, it's not been raining. Amazing. Look how beautiful. All this valley. Calderdale, Calder Valley. Hello, today is the 16th of March. A beautiful sunny day in West Yorkshire. I'm in Centervale Park in Todmorden and I came here to do a first counter in English Championship Fell Races. The race is called Flower Scar Fell Race, which is about 8.3 miles long with approximately 2,165 feet elevation. Todmorden Cricket Club is where the race registration took place. We arrived about two hours before the race start, so we could easily park near the race headquarters. Oh, you know. yeah. Because this was the first race in the English Championship, the event was very popular and you had to enter in advance. On the registration, together with the numbers, we were given out dibbers to use at all the checkpoints. Gradually, the registration hall filled up with many runners from running clubs all over England. Today around 380 runners took part in this race. Nice park, isn't it? Yeah. Come on in, come on in. Oh my word. Before the race starts, let's have a look at the runners who will be taking part in the race. Because most of them will be running ahead of me, I won't be able to film them during my race. So let's have a look at them now. Helm Hill, the Lake District Club near Kendall had the most amount of runners so taking of part. They came guys. on a big bus. Yeah, good. <laughs> they picked, yeah, three. Is there only, are there only three of you? And these are my team members, Preston Harriers. These runners are warming up a bit along the beginning of the route of the race, seeing where the start will take them. Hello, people. Are you going to see where it goes? By the way, in this video I'm also going to include a short footage taken by Steve Jackson of the runners ahead of me. Hello. Hi, yeah. And then... Gloss up there! Hello! Hi, yeah. Here comes John! <laughs> There's Ambleside here, Lakeland Club on the Calder Valley ground. What do you think? Have you been, have you reckoned it before? <laughs> yeah? Not all of us. <laughs> Not all of you? Do you know what to expect? Yeah. Yeah. Runnable? Yeah, yeah, very runnable with bogs and... <laughs> So, do you know your area, Lakeland, is always is higher, the mountains are higher, it's better, but I think this one is tougher because, yeah, it's tougher because it's tougher underfoot, well, you'll see. Yeah, yeah good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I've never seen some of you guys before, I don't think I've ever seen any of you. Yeah. He doesn't race much. 
Oh, okay. Good luck. Enjoy. <laughs> Black Coombe, another lake on club on the Calder Valley ground. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Guys, we can't be without you on the on the film. <laughs> Seen you in shorts before, first time. <laughs> Are you the only one from Chorley? Oh, okay. Let's film you before you set off. I won't see you after that. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, good. Good. Have you wrecked this one? I have, yeah. Oh, yeah. well done. Well, the worst place is the Starfield. It's horrible. Oh, it's yeah. It, like after checkpo checkpoint, which one? This field. Oh, this the field? Start, the first 200 metres. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, once it's out of the way, yeah, then you'll it. fly. It. It'll be alright. You get in the mode of start of a race. So yeah. Like Good luck. Like it's nearly 11 o'clock, and now it's the time for all the runners to get together at the start line. Around our wrist, we all had our dibbers that we had to insert in this slot in the checkpoint. However, two of the runners forgot their dibbers. I think they left them in the cars. So we had to wait for them at the start line for them to go and get them. That's one of the runners who left his dibber in the car. And we were all waiting. We wouldn't go without him. And off we go. We had to do a lap of the field first in order to spread out a bit before going on to the narrow ascent. There were about 380 runners at the start of different age categories from various English athletics clubs. As usual, I'm going to carry on filming people while they're running away from me, while slowly plodding behind myself. Also, at checkpoint 1, Flower Scar Hill, I'm going to insert Steve Jackson footage of the faster runners ascending the hill and going through the first checkpoint. I'm also going to film the route of the race a little bit if you want to see what the route is like. I'm not going to film all of it, just the main parts of the route. In the video description of this video, I'm going to insert the Strava route of the race and also the time chapters so you can easier access and find the part that you would want to watch.
in the fridge. He's not running today, is he? No, he came to it. support. Watching, yeah, I think he went up. I saw him before. Of a sweeping team. Well, they're look, trying to help out. Looking after everyone, <laughs> making sure people are all right. Making sure we're all safe. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful weather in the cold of it is. <laughs> Thank of you. There. Sorry. Because <laughs> I'm in the chat. Guys, run while I'm filming you, then you can walk. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, guys. I'm done. Thank you. It's Colin Valentine, <laughs> Kazakh fell running legend, <laughs> supporting us with the dog. Uh, Thank you. Are you doing it? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a look. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. I see all sorts of people here. <laughs> look how beautiful. Thank you. Steve, make it so quick. It's way up there. How oh, cool. The top of that hill is checkpoint one, the Flower Scar Hill. Now you're famous. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh. Let's do that! Thank you! <laughs> Dip it! And now this footage of the faster runners ahead of me is filmed by Steve Jackson, Nicola Jackson's dad. The the faster runners, the first runners are approaching Flower Sky. Well done Bill! Off you go! Well done! Hold on down. Oh, boy, boy. 
Well done, Sam. Well done, Harry. Well done. And now it's back to the race from my running perspective. We're now running from checkpoint 1 to checkpoint 2. Checkpoint 2 was this ruin next to the wall. Ah, yeah. The second checkpoint, that's so quick after the first, isn't it? Uh, thanks. When we wrecked the route of the race in January, it was difficult to get from checkpoint 2 to checkpoint 3, Hello. but on the day of the Sorry. race there was a very clear path all the way Thank there. You. I think because there were so many runners running it and Thank making you. the way. And during the wreck we went a little bit different way, not here, we went on the tarmac road. Now I'm approaching checkpoint three, vehicle gate on the road. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm now heading towards Beta Cloth. Beta Cloth is this steep ravine or gully with a stream flowing at the bottom of it. The race route crosses it quite high up, so we didn't have to go down and up the steep way. However, there's this race called Beta Clough Fell Race, where you have to cross the clough at the steepest point, crawling up with your hands and knees. Sorry. This style is checkpoint four, on the edge of the forest plantation, on the other side of Beta Clough. We run through the forest, veering left, those ramps there are crazy, do you go there? Yeah, well, well done! Then we run out of the forest and the checkpoint 5 is on the other side of this little gully next to the road where the stile is. Checkpoint 5! Oh, easy. It's okay, don't, I'm not... The supporters! <laughs> Thank you! Now, just the last checkpoint left before the cutoff time. The cutoff time was quite generous, All it was right. two hours. I was quite worried about making it, but I managed to do it within 15 minutes to spare. I, think, I still think it was quite a slow run, but 15 minutes to spare, I was quite happy about it. It's easier. Mind again? Uh, there's a lovely Studley Pike up there. Beautiful, I love this view onto the other side of the valley.
Well done, John. You made it. Come on. Hello, horses. Hello, horses. Hello, horses. Hello, horses. I'm flying over you. Look at that. Look at this mud. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's not even mud. Just like loads of poo, but not poo. <laughs> yeah, we made the cutoff point. I'm happy. I think there were 15 minutes to spare. So, checkpoint six. We've gone past it. And now we see this lovely Calder Valley behind us. Cheryl from Todmorden, probably your... Is that like your playground? You run here all the time. Well, I'm from Bingley. Oh, Bingley. Oh, <laughs> why did I say Todmorden? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cheryl from Bingley. <laughs> and this is our near the last ascent. Last steep ascent. And then it's not that steep. So... Gorgeous day, it's not been raining. Amazing. Look how beautiful all oh, this valley. Calderdale, Calder Valley. It's training again. That's the last ascent, I think. This footage of some runners ahead of me is taken by Steve Jackson on his phone. It's taken on the same spot of the route where I'm going now myself, but this is obviously way earlier. And after this bit, I'm back to the route of the race from my running perspective. The lovely marshals! Which club are you from? Todman and Harriers! Thank you! Great! Sorry, I'm very slow, but I feel, I'm feeling good. I'm enjoying it. Look at this. Nice muddy downhill. You can just slide down. Through the mud! Oh yeah, I'll go around, I think. Okay, it's everywhere. Yeah. Going around the mud. I can't avoid it there anyway. <laughs> it's like narrow precipice. Edge. You can see the park from here. Look at this mud slide. <laughs> oh, I would love to watch fast people going here. Nice soil though, it's good for the plants. <laughs> very black, very fertile. It's a cool experience running on here. Interesting, makes it more interesting. Look at this beautiful green mossy tree in contrast with the black soil, I love it. So beautiful. And then we go down there, where we came up. Well done! Thank you. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Just happy that I made the cut off point. No? That's it. That's got it. Thank you. Okay. This is the bin there. My official times. Thank you. Flapjacks for everyone as well. Look at that. Have one. Oh. We're gonna film them all. Well done, Ross and Dale. Well done. Well done, John! I told you we would make it! Yes! Well done!
Brilliant. <laughs> Yay! Well done! Hansen Marshall. Hiya. Hello, you two. Uh, Tim uh, Lamond won, didn't you? Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. He? I, I could see it. Yeah. Did he win? Wait, did he win? What's Tim that? Lamond. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the great race. I only heard about him last time when you told me. Did he win? Was he first or second or something? He was first at Hackney. Hi, Cobb Nick. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he's a really good shape. Yeah. I'm coming back from the Flower Scarf Fell race in Calder Valley. I didn't stay for the presentation because the people I came with, my teammates, wanted to go to this pub where we normally go to after races in our area in Lancashire. I really, really enjoyed this race. I like the varied terrain, all sorts of terrain. It, was, it wasn't too boggy today. So we were quite lucky with the weather, the sun was shining, gorgeous, gorgeous race. I really enjoyed it. So that's the first counter of the English Championship. The next one is Lad's Leap and the next one is the short fell race. This one was the medium one. See you later.